part one, Bishara is Al Jazeera senior political analyst. He joins us by Skype from Paris. So we know that Hochstein has been meeting the U.S. Uh, uh, advisor. He's been meeting with Israeli officials. What do we expect to come out of this initiative? Very little, if anything at all. I think this is just meant to uh, calm the spirits and show that the Americans are, in fact, uh, involved and continue to be involved and interested in calming the situation while Israel continues to pound Gaza and pound South Lebanon uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, there could be uh, some hints of uh, an attempt at arrangements uh, for the day after Gaza in the sense of what will constitute a permanent ceasefire on the northern border with Lebanon, and how could that be handled? Of course, as you know, uh, most of the proposals thus far insist that Hezbollah must redeploy at least six kilometers to the south of the border. This is not exactly uh, to its liking for the time being. The war continues, and the United States continues to keep up the appearances of uh, some sort of a peacemaker. Marwan, what seems to be the Israeli policy priority right now when it comes to Lebanon? Simply containing the exchanges or escalating them in order to create a new reality on the ground? Uh, there's a lot of room for guessing because different Israelis have said different things over the past few weeks and months. But clearly, Israel is not driving uh, what's next uh, on the northern border. Hezbollah is in the sense that uh, Israel would have just liked that nothing happened in the north and that it could simply focus on Gaza and the West Bank and East Jerusalem and so on and so forth. Israel would like more, no, nothing more than to simply focus on Palestine and destroy Gaza instead of being preoccupied with deterrence on the northern border. So the initiative has been thus far with, in the hands of Hezbollah, that maintains, as you know, and as we've heard the past several months, that it will continue to sack the the um, the energy, if you will, if possible, from the Israeli army as it continues its aggression against Gaza. And we've had the disbanding of the war cabinet. Will that impact decision making? You know, there's a, there's a problem in Israel, and it's not just Netanyahu. Netanyahu, the godfather of, uh, of modern Israeli fascism, is very happy with his 64 majority of ultra-nationalist, ultra-fanatics, ultra-religious parties. It was the, the problem started with the likes of uh, Benny Gantz and Eisenkot and those people who, you know, the darling of uh, the West, the darling of Washington and London, who consider to be moderate, even though they are probably the most bloody people in Israel. But while uh, the Gantzes of Israel are so bloody, uh, boasting of bombing Gaza back to the Middle Age, they're quite politically stupid. And uh, Gantz in particular, since he appeared on the scene what, five, six years ago, seven years ago, on the political scene in Israel, he's been outmaneuvered by Netanyahu every single time. Even when he sort of even like, almost won an election, uh, along with Lapid and others, he turned out to be a junior partner in the Netanyahu government, and Netanyahu stabbed him in the back. And yet again, eight months ago, when the war started, when Netanyahu officially started the war uh, in October 8 or 9, Gantz joined too early and left too late. He basically gave the cover to Netanyahu to do as he wanted. And now, with the cabinet, with the war cabinet disbanded, Netanyahu is more likely to continue with his government because Gantz has given him the Israeli slash, you know, centrist or centrist legitimacy that he needed to continue with the war. We could have had real street pressure after the failure of October 7 towards a new election. Now, unless a real, real upheavals on the streets of Tel Aviv and Jerusalem and elsewhere takes up, I think it's going to be very difficult to change the Netanyahu government. The Netanyahu is going to stay in charge. He will form some kind of a security inner circle within the government, the security cabinet of sort, and he will continue to run affairs as long as he can. Always good to get your thoughts and analysis. Marwan Bishara. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.